I'm so nervous about my birth control consultation today. There are so many options. I don't know what's best for me. Kathy, the doctor's ready to see you. All right, I'm just gonna go this way. Just take a seat right here, and Dr. Gamble will be ready to see you. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Hello, my name is Dr. Gamble. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm good. If you want to have a seat right here, and we can begin. So, Kathy, I see you're here for a contraception consultation. Uh, before we get, begin, I was wondering what you already knew about birth control. Well, um, some of my friends are on birth control, but I don't really know too much about it. Um, but I recently began being sexually active, so I just wanted to be protected against pregnancy and STDs. So we can definitely discuss some options for preventing pregnancy, but you should know that the only sure way to prevent STDs is through abstinence. Oh, I actually didn't know that. I thought that the pill gave you immunity to STDs too. That's a very common misconception, so it's really good that you came in here to get more information. Um, did you want to discuss your options for pregnancy prevention now? Yeah. Okay. So here are the, um, some of the most common methods for um, female contraception. Aside from condoms, I would say that birth control pills are the most commonly used method, especially for college-age students. Let's pause and talk about this interaction. It's great that Dr. Gamble gave the patient written information about her options. In case Kathy forgets after her appointment, she can refer back to the handout. However, it would have been better if the doctor went through the handout with her to make sure that she understood all of the information. Remember, Universal Precautions states that we should always assume the patient has low health literacy. Um, there are many different types of birth control pills, but no matter what you choose, you have to take one pill at the same time every day. Well, I don't know if that is the best for me because I tend to be forgetful, especially during the school year when I have a really busy schedule. Okay, no worries. There are lots of other birth control methods, um, which only require a short little one-time procedure, um, and they're just as effective. So let's talk about IUDs. IUD stands for intrauterine device. You can get it inserted in your uterus in a simple procedure, and it lasts for um, about three to ten years, depending on what kind you get. That sounds good. I'm glad I won't have to worry about it every day. Can you recall how many the doctor offered as options for Kathy? Many times, health professionals don't present all the options available. All health professionals should explain all options so that the patient can truly make an informed decision. We're all set. I can give you a referral to gynecology to finalize this. Um, did you have any other questions? Um, I was just wondering if it would be effective immediately. I mean, I use condoms with my boyfriend, but I just wanted to make sure. Okay, that's a great question. Um, it actually depends on what type of IUD you get, but um, you can discuss this with the gynecologist. Most of the time it's effective right away, um, but to be safe, I would recommend waiting um, at least a week before relying on it fully. Okay, sounds good. This is an example of a typical encounter seen in many college students. It is important that young adults are aware of their options and are educated to choose what is best for them. Many people may feel nervous, embarrassed, or ashamed to take action in their health. You are not alone. Don't be afraid to make an appointment at your student health care center or local clinic to get the care and education you deserve. There is no shame in protecting yourself and others. There are eight categories of birth control. Hormonal, such as the pill, barrier devices, such as condoms, spermicides, such as foam, cream, jelly, film, suppository, or tablet that contains a chemical that kills sperm, IUDs, behavioral, such as abstinence or the pull-out method, permanent, such as tubal ligation, or better known as tying your tubes, and emergency contraception, such as Plan B.